Sorry, but David, we've been Jason, walking around for about four days. So let, let me just let me just break down what we're about, what we're sitting on here. Um, a couple of days ago, uh, actually like three weeks ago, we were picking up some drugs for one of my friends. Mm. I'm just going to be pretty clear with people. Sure. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want to hide anything. And when we were picking up drugs, the drug dealer, um, he was in Granada Hills. And he invited me inside to his home, inside to the studio he lived at. And I went inside, and it was a very dark and mysterious. We also like, thought this was the last time we were going to see you. This was at like think of, this was at like <laughs> one a.m. and like everyone's in the car, and I get a text from from our friend. And he's like, "Come inside. He wants to meet you." And I'm, <laughs> and I'm like, "Who wants to meet me?" And so I go inside to this drug dealer's like loft or whatever this house. And it's completely blacked out. It's, guys, it's a dungeon. It's a sex dungeon. There's chains from the walls. There's whips laying around. There's sex rooms. There's swing sets hanging from, from, the, uh, from the ceiling. And it's all, like, satanic, super dark, very bloody and, like, you know, mysterious, like, goth type of vibes. And it's terrifying, especially because I'm just, like, the most basic white kid, like, from, like, the most, you know, simple suburb on the planet. This is, like, some real extravagant shit, like, I'm seeing. Yeah. And all my friends are in the car, and I come back just right into the car. I'm like, you guys, will, you guys won't believe what just fucking happened. And, right. <coughs> and we're in the car, like, David's been gone a long time, yeah, man. Yeah, they're in the car. They're really worried. I come back, and I have, like, four missed texts from, like, each one of them in the car, they're like, dude, where are you? We're about to call the police. What's going on? All super worried. Yes. And turns out the dude invited me and my friends to a sex party. And I'm talking like straight up, the waz- straight up out the wazoo, like a real sex party. Mm-hmm. And by sex party, I mean like I asked, I asked him because I had no idea what a sex party was. I'm like, so people come here and have sex? And the guy's like, oh, man, that's not all they do. Like you have no idea what they do when they come here, mm-hmm. and then he and then he explained to me what they did last time. These these sex parties happen once a month, and he was telling me that the last time that um, there was a sex party, there's people. It, this this vlog is going to get a little gruesome. So if you're under the age of I don't know forty five, we're sorry because <laughs> you're probably going to find all this uncomfortable. Um, but he was talking about how there were girls being, uh, girls and guys being drowned, and then they were being you know they were being f- fucked. From the from the back while they're being drowned and there's people being cut and there's people being like there's people bleeding and they're having sex like it's super dark it's, 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 it's yeah but, but they're they're all it's it's all consensual oh it's all consensual yeah yes, they're not yeah, being yeah. drowned they may be losing some air and coming back up yeah Jason. again I didn't see any of that there was nothing <laughs> like that in there Jason's like yeah um, no 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 but like but some serious like fetishes like some serious kinks were going on at this party and he invited he invited me and my friends to go back to the party so I told Jason about it this was like three weeks ago so i'm like hey jason in three weeks there's this party we should go to it i asked my girlfriend liza who is a sweetheart i'm like listen we should go to the sex party because i just I, I i can't imagine what goes on and of course she said hell no so we didn't go but but the best part about having jason as a friend is you can throw him into anything and he'll go well, especially when it has to do with sex <laughs> no i didn't want to go i did this as research yeah. for the podcast <laughs> okay. for the listeners yeah yeah no but, but you know from the start when we got the text i was like i'm going and I'm going to go for a story for 100% the podcast. 100% research. 100%. No, no sexual des- desires at all. No. It was all business. No one has to have sex with me. Well, you that, know that. Yeah, I know. So the, f- the funny thing was that there was just so much build up to it. Like, yeah. we were going all day Saturday. I actually looked kind of good. I got on yeah, a jacket. Jason, okay, so, so long story short, Jason ends up deciding. Tell him how go. gross I look all the time. Jason looks disgusting all the time. <laughs> I don't think I need to tell him. I think they're kind of just going to assume from how much we've talked about how you look. Jason looks disgusting all the time. Because I'm working, dude. And Before I was working with you, I was hanging out. I made one Jason, fine a day. you're not the only person on the planet that works. <laughs> <laughs> I, work, I, work, I work 80 hours a week. Do me a favor. Take a trip down to Wall Street and tell me how many slobs you see going to financial buildings. Oh, it's all slobs down no, there. No, it's not. Um, okay, yes, anyway. Long story short, Jason went... Uh, Jason decided to go to the sex party and he dressed up like a motherfucker i mean he looked like yeah. a, he looked like a goddamn pegasus i didn't eat that day so my jeans fit <laughs> it was great no he looked really good like this is the sharpest he's ever looked so yeah we're, we're getting we're we're, we're, we're uh, you know the call goes out buy the tickets i'm like okay 
and no one wants to go. Tickets are like a hundred, one hundred fifty dollars. One fifty for so, a guy. So some people are a little bit like drawn back by it. So. So we end up getting our friend Corinna to come with. Which I was really surprised. Yeah. Who's Saturday I called Dave and said, we need to find a girl to go. And she said yes. She, she, was, she was 100% down. And then our friend Seth came. And then me and Brandon were the ones that were chaperoning. And we were driving. And we were going to drop them off and sit outside while they were done doing their sex party stuff. Uh-huh. Uh, and they went into the sex party. First of all, then first we went to your, your apartment. To hold hang on, hold on. Okay, go ahead. Before I hand it over to you, long story short, um, they went into the sex party and then they came out, and they had Jason. I'll, I'll 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 skip to the end right now. Jason got home at nine a.m. and his roommates texted me at like five a.m. They're like, "Dude, where is Jason? Is he okay? Did you finally kill him?" I got him at seven. Uh, <laughs> you finally oh, you got him at seven. <laughs> okay, you, you got him at seven. First what? of all, no. Listen, listen. Hold okay, on. I'm, uh, I'm taking it back. Yeah, a little yeah, yeah. Bit. Go. No, no. You're gonna take it way back. Okay. And Jason has Jason had this wicked story of what happened. I don't know if it's crazy, but he has a story of what happened, and I have not been. Every time he's told a story, I've left the room because I wanted to experience it on the podcast for the first time. So this is the first time I'm hearing the story too, just because I wanted to have questions and react to it genuinely. Major props to old Dave Dobrik for holding out for five days to hear this. Every time I've been I, telling everybody. He's still literally everyone. He's, he's got on a call with my mom to let her know. <laughs> like, oh no, that does not sound good. That does not sound like a good Saturday night. Not lit, not savage in any way. <laughs> All right, so, so now Jason is going to take it back and he's going to Tell me well, all about the time he went to the sex party. We went to your house, okay. first of all, and then you you had the option. David really wanted to go. I really, really wanted to go. And, and you had the option to go. She said okay. Liza gave me the okay, but like she gave me the okay. She's like, yeah, go ahead, go for it. And it wasn't even one of those like okays where it was like, where it was like, yeah, do whatever you want. It wasn't even like that. Liza was genuinely just like, yeah, that's fine. Just go for it. And But I just felt so, it felt so wrong. I see. I find that fascinating. I think a lot of people can relate to that. Like, like was that a trap? Like, if you had gone, would you have been in, in trouble? But I think the main thing was that you wouldn't have want her to go. So yeah, you the, didn't feel the, like the way I looked at right. it is if she asked me to go to the sex party, I would be like, "Fuck no, Liza, you're not going." There. But at the same time, I'd be like, "Yeah, I'll go with you." Right. But I mean, that's not a fair way of thinking <laughs> with a rug over your head. <laughs> 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 um, no, but she she was okay with me going, but I know that I wouldn't want her to go, so I was just like, forget it. I'll just sit in the car and, and have Jason experience all the bondage he can have. And and the other thing was oh, and to be fair, if I if I was to go, I was I was obviously not going to partake in anything. Obviously, it was just to watch. Okay, of yeah. course. And also, we Brandon and you and I had a giant argument about whether it was illegal or not, and you guys were so fucking arrogant. For an hour Jason. on your couch, it's illegal, Jason. It's illegal. No, it's Ill- you guys were you're such little arrogant little shits who have not experienced the world fuck in you, any Jason. way. No, fuck, fuck you. No, fuck, fuck you. Because you know what? You can't say fuck you. You know what? But you can't say fuck you because I was right. It's no, perfectly you know legal. Yeah, was it legal? It is legal. Well-